panic meter. Matt, can I just put you down for one on all of these or what? Should I just put you down for one? <laughs> all right, what are we, what are, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where let's get let's with? get it cracking with, with, with Michigan State on a scale of one to five. One being Matt, it is just it is a fly around your ear. And five, uh, we may need to make some staff changes. How panicked are we about Michigan State? <laughs> We can't make staff changes, okay? <laughs> Tom Izzo has been to 25 straight NCAA tournaments. 25. 25 straight NCAA tournaments. So we're not making staff changes until he wants to make a staff change. I, you know, I, I am a little bit concerned. They just look a little bit out of sorts. They're not in rhythm offensively. Tyson Walker's having to do too much. A.J. Hogard is not who he was last year, and that's what they need. Coach Izzo has talked about shrinking the bench, not playing the freshmen. I think there's there's a reason to be concerned for Michigan State, but we're also talking about a coach going to 25 straight NCAA tournaments. So I don't think we need to make a staff change at Michigan State. I think Coach Izzo will get it figured out but they just seem out of sorts. They're not in rhythm offensively, and you can see it. Can we put is you that down too much coach for three, for you, John? Is that, is that no, too can much we, can we, can we, I just want to assign a number to it. Can we put you down for a three? Out of five. Yes. Three. All right, three. Henson, wow, where are you got, at? Got him. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'll, stick with, I'll stick with a th- I, three. Um, maybe, you know. Obviously, Michigan State coach is a victim of his own success. So, you know, 25 straight years of having a tournament. Michigan State's always in the conversation, Big Ten and further. So we'll go a solid three, but God forbid in the last quarter, you know, century he has a bad year, right? So I think they've got to figure it out. He's figured it out before. They do have to figure out with the guys that they have coming back aren't performing like they were last year. Don't know if it's just – that was peak Michigan State. We saw last year from this team what they could possibly do, um, but yeah, they 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 they're approaching shambles right now. And uh, Izzo will turn it around if not this year, next year. Have no doubt in my mind. But like Coach said, twenty five straight years. You know, give him a break, man. You know, he might he might be golfing early this year. You know, for the first time ever. John, I I, I know Two, your three. head's down, and you 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 think I'm going to go right back to the coach speak. I do think they got to get healthy too. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I just there's something, there's something they just look off. Maybe it's expectations. Yeah. Maybe they were ranked too high to start the season. You know, think about that. Like, I mean, sometimes that may, maybe they're not as good as everyone thought they were going to be. But I think they got to get healthy too. They've had like the flu bug or whatever run through their team. You know, everybody seemed to have missed time. So let's see where they are in two weeks. I mean, that Nebraska game coming up. A must win. I don't ever think there's must wins. That's a big game for Michigan State. That's a really big right. game. Yeah, they better win it. Yeah. If, if, uh, you, a, a and McCall you, three is like a regular four, just so we're clear on a panic meter. And, and <laughs> if, if, but if you look at their roster too, they got nine guys played over 15 minutes. So I, I'm, I've played before. There's got to be some kind of tension as far as minutes as well. It's got to be. You can't. There's no way to keep nine guys happy. I don't care. Who you are, what 100%. team, what levels. So, um, yeah. but but I, have to I think that that too, John. I think I think that's why he came out and said what he did before the game the other night against Wisconsin. Hey, these freshmen aren't ready to play. They're not ready to yeah. play. And I feel like he was trying to eliminate the distraction of mm-hmm. at least if you're going into the game and you know you're not going to play, maybe we don't have to deal with that. And I think that's why he came out and said what he said. <laughs> 